Time for some adventure. <laughs> Trail Bros. Welcome back everyone. I'm Nick and you're watching Smokey Bees Natural. I'm on my latest and greatest adventure. I'm on the Foothills Trail in North and South Carolina. I'm gonna spend a week out here, roughly 78 miles. Hopefully see some beautiful waterfalls and great vistas. Getting a late start today. Uh, it's about 5 p.m. so I'm just gonna hike in a few miles, get to camp, calm down. <laughs> and get ready for the trip but man i am super excited so i'll see you down the trail all right made it to camp I'm at the Tennessee creek campsite got some neighbors next to me so Maybe I'll have someone to chat to tonight. And then tomorrow morning, it's game on. <laughs> oh, can't wait to get this adventure started. About three and a half miles in. And, uh, yeah, I'm tired from traveling all day. So I'm going to get something to eat. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Good night. All right, well, good morning. I had a wonderful sleep last night despite some ever so slightly noisy neighbors but <laughs> that's okay because they're out here to have fun too so anyway slept in this morning it's just now getting i think around nine o'clock so usually about an hour later than i normally uh get on trail but that's what vacations are for <laughs> anyway i think i'm gonna wind up doing about maybe 13 miles today at uh burl's ford camp and uh, see how I feel. And if I feel froggy, maybe I'll go a little further. But like I said, it's vacation and I'm gonna enjoy this trip. So we'll see you down the trail. In my first views of the Chattooga River. Looks like that's a kayaker's dream. Hmm. All right, well, I got camp set up. 
Made it, I don't know, roughly 13 and a half miles for the day, which puts me at the 16 mile marker for um, the whole trail. But I'm at Burl's Ford campsite. And I'm so glad to be here, man. Today was a tough day, but you can see I got camp in the background. Even got some hiker trash laundry going on, trying to dry stuff out. But man, what a day. Those uh, falls in the morning were awesome. And the Chattooga River, man, if I had the, uh, the nerve to kayak that, I bet that would be a blast. So anyway, I'm wore out. The whole section along the river was slow and technical, so I'm going to get some food, relax for the day. It's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon, but I didn't think I was going to make it another 7 miles to the next campground, so anywho, I'm going to get some food, relax, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Day two begins. Had a wonderful sleep last night. Sometime in the middle of the night, it actually rained on me for a little while. Just a little mild sprinkle. So hopefully that's uh, all I have to contend with this week since it's supposed to be all sunny and sunny and mild weather all week. So anyway, we had a 16 mile day ahead of us. Uh, trying to get to the Whitewater campsite. Hopefully see some uh, major waterfalls. So I'm kind of excited to see that and even Lake Jukassi, so. <clears throat> anyway, we'll get this uh, show on the road and we'll see you down on the trail. Trail magic. Compliments of Taz, famous trail angel on the Foothills Trail. Lots of sodas and candy. Looking good. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Hard to tell with all the clouds, but uh, just a small glimpse of Bad Creek Lake. Almost to Lake Jacasi. So uh, I think I'm done with my final climb for the day, just about. So hopefully it's smooth sailing downhill, but man, that is a beautiful view. walking through a burn area for quite some time. It's pretty wild. See all the old trees that burned and then all the uh, new growth. Pretty wild.
Check that out. Just cross paths with that little guy. <laughs> Wild. Scared the crap out of me. Finally made it to camp. Wound up pushing a little further than I wanted to today. Uh, I planned on 16 miles getting me to the um, Whitewater campsite past the Whitewater River, but it was plumb full of people. So uh, me and a fellow hiker wound up pushing a couple more miles to the Thompson River and uh, found this little nice little spot for me to uh, Enjoy tonight. Got me a nice waterfall in the background. And I am beat. <laughs> so, that's two extra miles that I did today. So, it's two less I got to do tomorrow. So, maybe I'll either sleep in or push a little further. Who knows? Anywho, I'm going to get some food. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Good night. All right, good morning. It's day three. Oh, had a wonderful night's sleep last night, despite sitting or sleeping <laughs> on a uh, incline and having a nasty Widowmaker nearby. I thought I would fret about that all night, but apparently yesterday wore me out enough that as soon as I hit the sleeping bag, I fell asleep. So, today's plans. Uh, it was supposed to be like a 17 mile day, maybe a 19 mile day, but knocking off uh, two extra miles last night will actually uh, help today. So, anywho, uh, plan is to get to uh, the Toxaway River and the Toxaway River campsite. And if I'm feeling good, I'll uh, push just a hair further to uh, Rock Creek. But anyway, it's a nice, cool morning, real breezy. The uh, river this morning was absolutely beautiful, so can't wait to see what we see today. Hopefully we'll finally get to see uh, Lake Jacassi. Can't wait to see that. It's a very pretty lake. So anyway, I'll see you down the trail. That bridge was super slick and very pretty, but uh, it ends at this. <laughs> oh boy. I think there's a little over 100 steps according to the trail guide. Fantastic. finally starting to get some peaks at Lake Jacassi. I think here in another mile or two I might get a nice nicer view not really sure but it's real pretty. Day is getting hot and uh, easy miles most of the afternoon old logging roads and such but yeah very beautiful. Well, I made a quick stop at the Toxaway uh, campsite. That's where I originally planned to stop today, but it's only like 3.45 or whatever, so now I'm feeling spry. So I'm gonna push to the Rock Creek campground and uh, 
There's a climb called Heartbreak Ridge. If I'm saying that right, at least it's gonna break my heart doing it. But anyway, I'm feeling pretty spry right now. So I think I'd rather do it now instead of in the morning when I'm tired, so. All right. Guess you can see those stairs, but they literally go straight up. I think it's like 150 something stairs or whatever and then 294 going down so let's do it i think i'm only a third of the way up oh this is with my butt <laughs> all right made it to camp we're at the rock creek campsite man am i happy that i made a decision to give it over uh Heartbreak Ridge, because man, that was a beast. So, it's 16 miles for the day. Gets me about uh, mile marker 50, I think, for the whole uh, trail. Oh, man, what a day. Wasn't much to look at today other than a bunch of old logging roads, but made for some easy miles and uh, getting to camp pretty early, so. Anyway, uh, was kind of hoping to see a little more of Lake Jacassi as well, but, uh, well, that, it is what it is. I mean, it's still pretty late. Maybe I'll see it on the drive home from the, on top of the mountains. But anyway, uh, tomorrow is going to be a big decision maker. I start climbing up uh, Mount Sassafras, which is the highest mountain in uh, South Carolina. Eventually, we'll make it to the top. I just don't know if I'll do it tomorrow or if I'll do it uh, on the last day on Friday. It just depends on how I feel, I guess. There's about campsite three miles on either side of the of the uh, peak so anyway i'm just gonna sit and relax chat with some uh, local hikers and we'll see you in the morning good night all right good morning it is day four. Oh, getting a very early start got got up and moving around 6 30 in the morning i think we finally decided last night with the other hikers that uh we we're going to try and get over Mount Sassafras today that way we can end on a easy day tomorrow so I got about a 18 mile day so uh, definitely needed this early start to uh, get them done before uh, sundown so anyway lots of climbing today uh, and hopefully a wonderful view on top of Mount Sassafras so we'll see you down the trail Pop-Tarts, breakfast of champions, or insane people who get up early in the morning. Almost a midday report, how about that? Uh, it's uh, 11 o'clock, doing good. Ankle's a little sore, but I can handle it. Got uh, two of the three major climbs out of the way so far, so uh, i thrilled for that. Um, hoping to maybe hit a parking lot soon and have lunch around noon before uh, I start climbing Mount Sassafras later, so starting to finally see peaks of mountains. I'm uh, maybe a third of the way up Sassafras right now, so i got about three more miles to the top. I just keep telling myself I'm going to the highest peak, <laughs> so anything taller than that is higher than me, so, or, you know, <laughs> anyway. Keep on motoring. Kind of hard to tell, but I'm actually starting to see more sky than I am mountaintop, so that means I'm getting close. I uh, talked to a couple that was hiking down the mountain, and they said I only got about 700 more miles to go. 700 miles, 
700 feet. So, anywho, getting excited. I'm soaking wet and sweat. It's super hot outside today. So, I'll see you at the top. Man, look at this sight, folks. Look at that. Let's get up top, check it out. Wow, look at those mountains up there. Wow. Look at some fellow hiker trash here. Made it. Oh, it's awesome. views on top of Mount Sassafras are absolutely beautiful. It's one beautiful place. The uh, autumn colors are just starting to come out. It's cool up here. Just a lovely breeze. It's been a nice hour or so up here just relaxing and enjoying the view. But now I gotta get to camp. We'll see you down trail. All right, finally made it to camp. And I'm going to bring back a phrase from the Sheltoe. What a day. Oh, good solid, I, I can't remember, like maybe 17 miles, I, I don't know. Uh, pushed further than I originally planned just so we can get onto Mount Sassafras. And uh, made it, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So, anywho, I'm beat. I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'll uh, hang out with the other guys, and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. All right, good morning. It is day five, final day. <laughs> Super excited. Got about nine miles to the car. We got up early again this morning because everybody had a fairly decent drive home. So I think we're trying to be home or at least to the end of the trail by noon. I'm not sure what to expect today. Maybe, maybe an overlook at the Pinnacles. I'm not really sure, but a lot of downhill uh, hiking. I tell you that it's a couple thousand feet down, and it's going to be fast. <laughs> Anywho, I think just before that I'll have one more climb, but after that it's game on. Um, this trail has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, not much to look at all day, just a nice green tunnel to walk through, but man, it makes up for it when you see those waterfalls and that mountaintop at it, it, uh, uh, Mount Sassafras. So. Anywho enjoying the sunrise as I'm walking and I'll see you down the trail. tough to see the camera but man I've just been following this 
giant rock ledge for quite a while. I imagine it's probably what I'm getting ready to climb up, but I'm not sure. fellas just hanging out in the sun. Nearing the end, one last waterfall. Got a bunch of families hanging out, enjoying a nice swimming hole. Less than a mile to the end. <laughs> 